Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I am your host, x.e.l.o. Today, what I want to do is go over how to create templates inside of Reaper, whether that be a project template, whether that be a track template, or like an effects template. All those can be done inside of Reaper. Let me show you how to do it. Let's go. All right, so here we are inside of Reaper and the theme that I'm using is called Reaper Tips. As you see, I kind of have a couple of things set up as your default template, All right? Uh, and in order to set that up, you want to go up to your options and you want to go to your preferences. And then once you're in preferences, you want to go to where it says project. Once you actually create a default, you'll be able to look for it and you will have that set up as when creating a new project use the following project as a template file. So if you hit on browse, it'll usually take you to where all your defaults are. Reaper automatically has a folder set up for templates. So this makes it a lot easier for you to actually get everything set up. I have mine set up as my Excel default, but I can change it to any one that I want it to, or I can just make a complete blank one and then save that as a template as well. So this gives me that versatility to make this how I want to make it. And that's one of the benefits of actually using Reaper. All right, so this is like usually at my basic one. So let's say I wanted to uh, see them. I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to go down to where it says project templates. So these are where your project templates are actually stored. So let's say I wanted to do this uh, TV film trap one, this default, right? And I'm going to load it up. And it matters how big the project is, what you actually have in there. So this was an actual track that I created and then I made a template for it. So these are all the things that I actually used inside of the track when I made it. So as you can see, it, it even saves the audio files. It saves my settings. So I completely removed everything out of there except for the things that I believe would be needed as a template for this. So I even have my color coded arranger or regions up here at the top. So this makes it so much easier for me to just kind of crank out tracks if I need it for this type of style for TV film, right? So I even have one that's set up to kind of emulate FL Studio. So if I go in here and I go to the one that says FL Studio layout, right? So this is what will actually pop up in here uh, that I set up for the FL Studio kind of like one. I'm using Soar as the way to actually add the drums in here. So if I wanted to, you know, play anything, I can add it right in here. Um, and it makes it so much easier for me to do it this way. So, you know, I can just add, you know, drums and kicks and snares and stuff like that. Um, add some hi-hats. You know, control the volume. So basically kind of like I was using in FL Studio or something like that. But this makes it a lot easier for me to kind of create a nice workflow automatically using the project templates. And I'll show you this a little later on how to actually set one of these up. So I'm gonna show you how to actually create things like this. This is a template of a drum template that I created. So uh, let's start from the beginning and see if we can get everything set up. So now this is a clean slate. This is usually how Reaper will come as a default in here. You won't have any tracks or anything selected. I'm going to do like an effects bus that I'm going to create that like I usually have it. I usually have a compressor. So I have one track for a compressor, one track for my reverb, one track for my delay and one track for a chorus, right? So I want to make this one, name this one comp reverb delay and chorus, right? So I have them on here. You can make as many of these as you want to. This is like the power of Reaper. Like you can have a whole bunch of different effects. You can have a whole bunch of different reverbs that do different things inside this bus section. But I usually like to kind of keep it simple. Um, I also have mine set up to automatically create this track here, this uh, re-EQ or re-Q. So these automatically pop up if I create a track. If I create a track, it'll automatically pop up in there. So um, how you do that, is you go to effects, right? So now I have my the, this effect actually in here, right? So once you have the effect pull up and you have like, say you wanted these effects in every track that you made going forward, what you wanna do is go up to effects and you wanna go to save chain as default 
for a new track. So any new track that you create, it'll have this default in there. I don't really suggest to do this, but I know that I like to have this re-EQ or, or an EQ on the track. I can always remove it anytime I want to. You can do this a different way. If you go up to effects, right? And then you go to save effects chain and you click on that. Now you have an option to save your effects as a chain inside of Reaper as well. I have one for my master chain. I created like a little, basically like a mastering chain that I usually like to use. You can do that in here really, really simple and it's added anytime you want to uh, as an effects chain. All right, so now them, they don't have anything on there. I'm gonna just click on here and I'm gonna go through and find some plugins that I want. And here is the Reaper compressor on here. So I'm gonna click this one here. So boom, so now we have a reverb set up as well. So boom, we have the delay. I'm, just, I'm gonna go with this Kaiwa one. So I'm just gonna drag this one over to the chorus. And this is what that looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna close this out. So this last one here, what I wanted to do with it is make it into a separator. So what I'll do is right click on here and I'm gonna go down to the track layout and I wanna go to separator. All right, and I can go down here to here and do the same thing, go to track layout and then go to the mixer panel and let's go to small separator. So now I have the separator for them here. So now I have a little setup here for my effects. So if I wanted to actually make this into like a track template, uh, I can click on here, the top one, and I can click all the way down to the bottom, right click, and it'll give me an option that says save track as track template and then you'll be able to create your own like effects folder so if you want to do another folder you just right click in here and you can go to new and then add a folder and you can actually have them a little more organized than i have them in here so you can have your effects in here and and then make your own effects bus so as you see i have effects bus already created in here so i'm not going to create another one all right that would be how you would make that template. As you saw before, I had these kind of hidden away. And then you go up to view, and then you go down to track manager. Once you click on that, you'll see this track manager here. So this track manager is gonna be, this TCP is for the track section. This MCP is for the mixer section. So if I wanted to hide them, I can just click here and unclick those little dots. And now as you see, they're hidden from the track view. So you don't have to see them. They're only down here, so these are more like my bus area. And you can have as many of these as you want to in your bus area, right? So now I have pretty much a starting template if I wanted to do it like this. And if I wanted to keep this as my starting template, I can go up to File and then go to Project Template and then go to where it says Save Project as Template. So now you have that option to create your template right here and you can make as many of these as you want to for different things. Uh, this is basically how I have my default set up currently right now. So let's say you want to do like a drum template, like a real quick track to get drums. I right click inside the track section and then I go to insert track from template and I use this boom bap RS5K kit. So boom, so this pulls up so basically you pull that up and you have it right here inside of the DAW. Makes it a lot easier for you to see everything in here. And I like to have separators. So if I right click on here again and I go to track template, I have a separator option. So I can just sep add a separator in here. And now I have a separator at the top and at the bottom. And if I wanted to add more instruments, let's say I wanted to do contact four track layout, right? So now I have a contact folder that I created and I have options to use contact right here. Let's add an e-piano. So boom, we have a piano in here now. And it's just that simple to kind of set all this up. When you have your template set up, it makes it a lot easier and you can have a really fast workflow. So let's say we wanted to add or create like a drum little kind of template like I made. Let's go in here, go to virtual instruments and I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to the resample matic 5000 right and you know this is how it looks 
So basically, I'm just gonna kind of duplicate these a couple of times just so I can have them. I'll just do four. First one, let's say this is gonna be our kick. This one is gonna be our snare. This one is gonna be our hi-hat. And this one is gonna be our open hat. So boom, so we have four tracks. As you see, it colored it automatically. If you do wanna get that set up, you will have to get the SWS extensions set up on your Reaper. Go up to extensions, go to auto, color layout and basically this is how i set it up to automatically color the tracks but if you do need to learn how to use the sws i do have a video showing you how to actually install that and repack on your reaper let's make one more all right and i'm gonna bring this one up to the top so what this one is going to be is the parent so i'm gonna name this one drums all right i'm gonna grab these and make them into a child, put them in this folder. As you see, it's indented. So these are under this folder. So now I have a folder for it. And then we just go through the Resampomatic 5000s and add what we need to. If you haven't already, make sure you guys go and download my Smash Kit. The link should be below in the description. It is absolutely free. All right, so I'm gonna go to the Smash Kit and I'm gonna add a kick. So the first resample Matic 5000, I'll just drag this one kick in here, right? Then the cool thing about Reaper is whatever folder you have set up for the resample Matic 5000 is gonna keep pulling from that folder. If I go here and hit this little drop down, as you can see, all those kicks that are over here are inside the resample Matic 5000. So I could change them at any time to a different kick if I want to. So I'm gonna do this one. This one is gonna be our snare. So let's go up one folder and go to snares. It's gonna add the first snare on there. And if I wanted to change this snare, I can go here and just go and change the snare. Uh, it's just that simple to do that in here. Let's go hi-hats. We have our hi-hats in here. So now we just need this last open hat. Open hats and let's go with this one so now we have some drums set up in here and let's say these are the drums that we know we're gonna use constantly inside of reaper you can actually make this into a template click on this one hold down shift click on the last one right click save as track template right and if you wanted to we're gonna put this into a folder so i'm gonna do a new folder rs5k drum kit right so we have that folder created. Double click on that folder. Let's name this. I'm just gonna name it Simple Drums. And what I can do is include track item and template. So what I'll do, I'll create it and then come back to it. You don't, you don't have to do this, but it'll, it'll make it a lot easier when you're actually setting these things up. So I'm gonna save it for right now. So I have this right now saved as a template. And I'm gonna re basically overwrite it. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna make a loop. And I'm going to add a MIDI. I'm basically going to add a MIDI item to the track. So here I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to go to new MIDI item. So boom. So now we have a four bar loop that we created. So I'm going to hold down control and just drag this one down. So I can just create them for all these tracks. So now all the tracks here have that option for a MIDI item, right? So let's resave this again. I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna go to save as track template. And I'm gonna go back into the RS 5K drum kit and I'm gonna click on this basic one and I'll have it include the items in the template, right? So I'll save that, I'm gonna overwrite it, I'm gonna replace it. So I'm gonna open another tab. So I'm gonna go up to file, right? And I'm gonna go to new project tab. So this will start a brand new project tab inside of Reaper. I already have my default set up, as you can see. It already put my uh, effects that I usually use over here. So all I gotta do is right click in here, go to insert track from a template, and I wanna find that RS5K drum kit. And boom. There you have it set up inside of Reaper. This is something that will save you so much time if you're trying to do a big project or if you want to start a project and just have your things already in order. So you'll have your drums and everything set up in here. If you're lucky enough to have Sower installed, you can actually use this inside of Sower. You just go up to your uh, 
extensions, open up sewer. So I'm gonna go here, click on this one and select all of them. And what I can do is go here and then go to add selected tracks and boom, I have them in here set up inside of sewer. But this is like a video that I already created. If you definitely want to check out how to use sewer inside of Reaper, I have a video showing you how to do that as well. All right, so let's say we, we wanted to actually have like a, a track that has like a whole bunch of uh, like mastering effects. If you know the effects that you really like to use for your mastering, you can always create like a folder for it. All right, so let's go into here. I'm just gonna just throw some stuff on there. Some, um, all right, so I'm gonna grab this re -Q. Let's do um, compressor, uh, limiter, right? And let's say that, that this is my mastering chain. So these, let's say these three, are my mastering chain that I, I always use, I always go to um, for stuff, right? So these are my three. So what you wanna do is make sure that you highlight all three of them on here, right? And then you wanna go to effects, and then you wanna go to save selected effects as chain, right? And I'm gonna rewrite it over this uh, Reaper Masters. Hit save, it's gonna ask me if I want to. I'm gonna say yes. And I'm gonna close this out. If I go in here and right click in here and I go to add effects chain and we go to Reaper Masters. So now all three of them will show up in here. So now you have all of them set up under your effects template. So now you have a template for effects, you have a template for your tracks and you have a project template. All this is explained in this video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. If you have like any questions or concerns, please leave them below in the comment section and make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel so we can still keep growing and keep going. Um, I do have a link below to get to my Discord server. So if you guys want to join Discord server, the link is below in the description. And we talk about things like this, dog talk, we do sample flips, we do uh, weekly listening sessions on the Discord as well. So definitely join, be a part. But with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. And I want to thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. Till next time. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.